Hello, heavy machinery enthusiasts. Today, join us on a supersonic journey through time to explore the incredible evolution of the U.S. Air Force machinery since World War II. Buckle up, because we're about to take flight. The 1940s were a defining era for military aviation. World War II saw the U.S. Army Air Forces play a pivotal role. Iconic aircraft like the B-17 Flying Fortress, nicknamed the Flying Fortress for its defensive firepower, dominated the skies. These bombers, powered by four massive radial engines, could carry a heavy payload of bombs deep into enemy territory, helping to turn the tide of the war. Complementing the bombers were legendary fighters like the P-51 Mustang, known for its long range and maneuverability. The Mustang, powered by a powerful V-12 engine, could escort bombers on long missions and engage enemy aircraft in thrilling dogfights. The 1950s witnessed a revolutionary shift as the jet engine roared onto the scene. This era marked the dawn of the jet age, where speed and performance skyrocketed. The Korean War became a battleground for jet supremacy, with the F-86 Sabre jet, powered by a single turbojet engine, facing off against Soviet MiG-15S. The F-86's superior speed and firepower proved decisive, showcasing the jet's clear advantage in aerial combat. Meanwhile, on the bomber side, the B-52 Stratofortress entered service. This colossal aircraft, powered by eight jet engines, became a symbol of the Cold War, capable of carrying nuclear weapons across intercontinental distances. It was like a P-51, but it was much faster. Good visibility, rugged, Reliable. The later models didn't fly apart. The time span between the two wars was not great enough. In 1960s, the F-4 Phantom II became a staple in the Air Force. It was a versatile fighter bomber used extensively during the Vietnam War, capable of flying at twice the speed of sound and carrying a variety of weapons. The Cold War fueled an arms race with the B-52 Stratofortress becoming a cornerstone of nuclear deterrence. This era also saw the development of specialized aircraft like the U-2 Dragon Lady, a high-altitude reconnaissance plane capable of gathering intelligence deep behind enemy lines. Meanwhile, on the cutting edge of technology, the X-15 rocket plane, a rocket-powered research aircraft, shattered speed and altitude records, paving the way for future space exploration. The 1970s were a time of refinement for the Air Force. Iconic aircraft like the F-4 Phantom, a mainstay of the Vietnam War, received upgrades in avionics and weaponry. But the real stars were the debuts of the F-15 Eagle and F-16 Fighting Falcon. The F-15, with its powerful engines and advanced radar, became the ultimate air superiority fighter. The F-16, a lightweight multi-role marvel, offered affordability and versatility, excelling in both air-to-air -air combat and ground attack. This decade also saw the introduction of the A-10 Thunderbolt II, affectionately nicknamed the Warthog. This heavily armored plane, with its massive GU-8 Avenger Gatling gun, became a tank killer extraordinaire. Meanwhile, the seeds of the drone revolution were sown with the introduction of the RQ-1 Predator, a pioneer in unmanned aerial vehicles for surveillance and reconnaissance. The 1980s saw the dawn of stealth technology. The highly classified F-117 Nighthawk became the world's first operational stealth aircraft, paving the way for future invisible warboats. Strategic bombers also saw advancements with the introduction of the B-2 Spirit, a batwing marvel designed for long-range, low-observable penetration missions. Airborne control also received a boost with the arrival of the E-3 Sentry AWACS aircraft. This flying radar station provided crucial battlefield awareness and command and control capabilities, allowing for better coordination between ground and air forces. Operation Desert Storm showcased the effectiveness of precision weaponry. The F-117 Nighthawk, 
the world's first operational stealth aircraft, played a pivotal role. Its sleek, black design and radar-absorbent coatings made it virtually invisible, paving the way for undetected strikes on critical Iraqi infrastructure. Laser-guided bombs and cruise missiles delivered pinpoint accuracy, minimizing collateral damage and revolutionizing air warfare. The 1990s also saw the introduction of the B-2 Spirit, another marvel of stealth technology. This bat-winged bomber boasted long-range, high-altitude capabilities and advanced stealth characteristics, allowing it to penetrate deep behind enemy lines and deliver devastating payloads with unmatched precision. The fall of the Berlin Wall marked a new chapter, but the need for air power remained. The 1990s witnessed a shift towards precision-guided munitions and the birth of a new aerial warrior, the drone. While manned aircraft continued to evolve, the 1990s marked the dawn of a new era, the rise of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. The RQ-1 Predator drone, initially a surveillance platform, demonstrated the potential for unmanned strike capabilities. This paved the way for the MQ-9 Reaper, a larger and more lethal drone that played a crucial role in the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. The world changed on September 11, 2001, ushering in a new era of warfare, the War on Terror. The U.S. Air Force played a critical role in this global conflict, and the focus shifted towards persistent surveillance and targeted strikes in remote locations. The 2000s became a defining era for drone warfare. While drones offered a new perspective, the F-16 Fighting Falcon remained a crucial asset. Its versatility and affordability made it a true workhorse. The F-16's ability to carry a wide range of weapons, along with its advanced avionics and continuously updated capabilities, allowed it to excel in various missions, from air-to-air -air combat and close air support to reconnaissance and electronic warfare. Iconic bombers like the B-2 Spirit remained crucial. This all-wing, stealth bomber, with its long-range and massive payload capacity, provided a strategic air power option. The B-2's ability to penetrate heavily defended airspace and deliver precision strikes on high-value targets made it a valuable asset in the war on terror. The MQ-9 Reaper truly came into its own in the 2000s. Its ability to operate continuously for extended periods provided persistent surveillance in war zones. Equipped with laser-guided missiles and Hellfire rockets, the Reaper conducted targeted strikes against enemy combatants, offering a safer alternative to manned aircraft operations. Throughout the 2000s, the workhorse of aerial refueling, the KC-135 Stratotanker, continued to be a vital component of Air Force operations. This iconic aircraft, based on the Boeing 707 airliner, underwent extensive upgrades to extend its service life and capabilities. The KC-135 played a critical role in supporting long-range deployments and global operations. Aside from the iconic aircraft, the 2000s saw significant advancements in avionics and weaponry. The introduction of Link-16, a secure data link system, revolutionized communication and situational awareness between aircraft, drones, and ground forces. Additionally, advancements in precision-guided munitions like the Joint Direct Attack Munition JDM, allowed for pinpoint accuracy, minimizing collateral damage, and maximizing mission effectiveness. The 2010s and beyond mark an era of rapid technological advancement in the U.S. Air Force. The focus has shifted towards integrating artificial intelligence and advanced sensor fusion into its machinery. One such example is the F-35 Lightning II, a multi-role fighter jet representing a significant leap forward. The F-35, with its three variants for the Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps, boasts advanced stealth capabilities, sensor fusion for unparalleled situational awareness, and a powerful integrated weapons system. 
The F-35 can perform air-to-air -air combat, deliver precision strikes with bombs and missiles, and even carry electronic warfare equipment to disrupt enemy communications. The Air Force isn't just focused on the sky anymore. It's actively exploring space with assets like the X-37B space plane, a reusable spacecraft with a mysterious mission profile. Collaboration with the Space Force is also on the rise, ensuring dominance across all aerial and space domains. Thanks for joining us on this historical flight path. The U.S. Air Force's machinery has come a long way, and the future promises even more innovation. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe for more awesome aviation content. Until next time, keep reaching for the stars.